Teaching an average class on a normal day can be challenging for any teacher. However, when you have a classroom with a wide variety of limitations, it can be overwhelming fast. Yeah, that's right. And today we're introducing you to an excellent educator who is teaching her how to overcome any obstacle and that the sky is the limit. Having a wide range of needs is very challenging, but at Elephant's Fork Elementary, Becky Hamlin is a special education teacher who rises to the occasion every weekday. She and a couple of assistants have a classroom of both verbal and nonverbal students. They use creativity and technology to tailor their lessons to each student. So one of my students is nonverbal, okay. and this is how he communicates. So if he wants to request Pop-Tarts for breakfast, Pop he just touches the picture. They even have some low-tech equipment to handle the students' changing energy levels during the day. We do um, have students with sensory issues, so this also helps them with those sensory, if things get overwhelming or it's too much overstimulated, mm -hmm. they can use the trampoline also in those moments to get that energy out. We also have a sensory swing that you can, um, you can get in there and sit and just kind of rock for a few minutes. It's a lot of fabric, so you can kind of close it up. But it's not computers nor swings that are at the heart of her success. Extremely hard work and persistence are key. And she has learned how to hone that skill over the years through her students. I have learned from, um, resilience and perseverance from my students. They, um, they never give up. They're some of the hardest working people I know. That attitude and the encouraging learning environment she creates is why she was given Teacher of the Year Award. Not just for the school, but for the city of Suffolk as well. Part of the reward is watching the kids grow and succeed. Obviously, I'm a special education teacher, so the students come to me with some very specific needs. And it's very rewarding to watch them grow with, within those needs and find ways around them. Becky mentioned that her great-grandmother also taught kids from different backgrounds years ago, and she looked up to her as a role model. Thank you, Becky, for all your hard work. At Elephant's Fork Elementary School, I'm Jeremy Wheeler, 10 on your side.